Hey, you guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Max's Best Bootcamp TV. Thank you for stopping by. We know you're busy and we love having you here along with us, giving you some killer fitness and health tips. Uh, so thanks again. We always appreciate you coming by. Hey, I've got a great guest today, fitness rock star, Jess in the house. <laughs> woo, woo. Oop, good. And can we do a little flex shot? Sure. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good to be in great shape. And you know, for the viewers at home, this show is all about motivating you to get active and live the fitness lifestyle. And we've gotten so far away from that. Um, it's really, you know, our mission with the show to just motivate you and encourage you to get moving. And it's not going to just happen overnight. You just add it into your day a little bit every day. And before you know it, you're hooked. So, um, uh, really exciting. Hey, we're going to get right into the show, chock full of fitness and health tips. Uh, now, today with Jess, um, now Jess trains with us over at the boot camp and also very exciting. Jess, what's going on? You, you love it so much that you're, you're thinking about becoming a personal yeah. trainer? Yeah. I'm oh, studying. man, give it up for that. Nice. Thanks. I'm nice. excited. I'm so, excited. Did you ever think that you would you know, get into fitness that much? To Well, you know, growing up, I was a runner. I was a lifeguard. I always did fitness, but I never thought to even think about becoming a personal trainer. So right. this is a very exciting chapter. So. It's very exciting. We're thrilled because you're going to be working together with yeah. us at the boot camp. I hope so. Uh, when do we start together, uh, training um, together? I The first class I did was back in October. October 2013. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. And I was very impressed because, you know, I was running. but. So usually when someone invites me to a fitness class, I'm like, yeah, I'll go, right. but it's not the best workout. And I was completely impressed because it was actually challenging. Okay. Um, and so then I signed up for the January promo Right. and completely got hooked. Okay. So, Love yeah. that. Love yeah. that. And she's still not sick of us, you guys. It's amazing. No. So, uh, you know, I love that story. And, you know, thanks for sharing that. Sure. Um, now, when you first started working out with us, mm -hmm. was it stuff that you were used to doing? I mean, I know you were running, but like exercise wise, was it? I had done some in the past with um, when I was in track in high school, some of that, but never kettlebells before. Ah, and never the, rope, so. the beautiful kettlebells. Yes. We have yeah. a few on set with us. And, yeah. uh, we don't travel without them, I tell you. Uh, very versatile. If you're not using the kettlebells, um, you do have to learn how to use them properly to benefit from them. But other than uphill skiing, kettlebells are the top exercise for burning calories and building lean muscle. Um, now, I don't know about you. I've never done uphill skiing, uh, but you can imagine how rigorous that is. Kettlebells are actually way more fun than that because um, it's like you're playing and working out at the same time, right? And yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so you really love the kettlebells, and you were a runner. Yes. Yeah. Running takes its tolls on the joints. Yeah, my, I came in concerned about my knees, right. and I was never able in the past to get to a point where I could do squats or lunges um, yeah. without pain, and I'm pain-free for the most part oh, yeah. now. So it's Love very that. exciting. For the most part, meaning like you're sore, but not I'm like sore. The yeah. Sometimes the side box lunges are a little tough still, oh, but yeah. other than that, it's yeah. it's pretty amazing. Okay. So. Love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, a lot of that has to do with you guys at home. Uh, Jess was you know, originally you know, a runner. If you if you're a runner and you you know how those those knees and the joints start really getting banged up, uh, especially as we go through our lifespan. Um, and a few things that are really important to fight some of the joint pain is anti-inflammatory diet. So cutting out a lot of the starches and sugars, okay, those will inflame your joints to no end. Okay, so that's first thing, controlling what's going in clean eating. The other thing is bulletproofing the joints. And how do you do that? So you look at the elbow, right? What, how can we bulletproof that area? We gotta build around it, same thing with your legs, okay, so you wanna bulletproof the knee, gotta strengthen below yeah. and above. Yeah. Um, and you gotta exercise right. So if you do it with bad form, you're only gonna get banged up worse. Um, and that's what we take the guesswork out for you. If you ever wanna come down to the boot camp and work out with us, um, you know, reach out to us through any of the emails, social media, we'd love to have you come check it out. Uh, totally change up your, your, your mindset on, on exercise. And 
it's not just about fitness. Uh, it is about what's going in, but it's also staying motivated. Um, so what are some of the good motivators for you, Jess? I Honestly, the community, working out with friends is just so much fun. So that's, that's what I, I have it in my routine. Yeah. I love to come at 6 o'clock. I, right. I have a buddy that I see when I come. Ah, a little um, workout buddy? Yeah, nice. so that's been really, really fun. But yeah. other than that, I mean, I'm already gluten and dairy free, not by choice, but um, medically. So that it's it's been neat to see that easier lifestyle. to cut that out though yeah embraced and encouraged um at boot right. camp as well so, so. gluten and dairy uh, yeah yeah okay so yeah and uh just on a side note on that uh i also don't do well with dairy and i just don't care for grains uh, i'd rather just eat veggies they're going to give you uh some of the same touted benefits and, and nutrients without that sugar spike um, and that's what's going to help you stay into that fat burning mode um, but we'd all do better if we were, pretended like we were sort of sensitive or, or intolerant to, yeah. uh, you know, gluten, for sure. Um, but uh, as far as fitness-wise, uh, you, you've gotten yourself, you're motivated, you're feeling yeah. good. Yeah. Would you say that results are also a big motivator? Yeah, it's been it's been huge. I had a yeah. shoulder injury, yeah. um, and it was either go to physical therapy. Right or go and build core strength. Yeah. Um, because the result, I mean, the core strength has been above oh, and core. beyond. And love, love strength in the oh, core. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And I'm seeing the results now. Um, six months in, lost some of those love handles. And oh, I'm nice, the love handles. Yeah. <laughs> now, and you know, you guys, I know some of you don't have the opportunity or may never have a chance to train with us, but guess what? Uh, we're coming up right now, it's a great segue, Jess, a great segue into our exercise tip of the week. We're about to get in this for you. It's an at-home body weight only workout, so you don't even need some of our fancy toys. Um, and we're gonna get right into it now. Let's cut to the clip. Hey you guys, it's Max, owner of Max's Best Bootcamp. Thank you for stopping by. We got an awesome body weight workout for you that you can do at home or at the gym. Now today, we're doing this workout at the boot camp as our workout finisher. That means after we've done our strength work for the day, we're gonna finish it off. It's just a quick pop at the end of our workout. So we're only doing two rounds here today, but if you're using this as your main workout at home or at the gym, I would recommend you trying to go for four or maybe even five or six rounds, okay? So each round is gonna take you about three minutes. Here's the breakdown of the workout today. I've got it on the board for you. Okay, so look, it's four exercises. Each round, we're gonna go 30 seconds each exercise, followed by a five second rest until you get to the end, and then you're gonna take a one minute break. Move number one, it's a foot fire, it looks like this. Turbo with the feet, as many as you can do, keep those shoulders back and keep moving. If you get tired or this is too much on the joints, you can just step it out, try and just step it out, step it out. Little steps, lots of little steps. 30 seconds on that one. Once we finish that 30 seconds, you got five seconds just to kind of relax, take a deep breath. We're going into move number two. Tuck jump burpees. Love this one. Okay, this is a variation that we do, and some of you are already doing burpees. You know how, what a great exercise that it is. Here's a variation that's gonna help step it up for you, okay? And here's what it looks like, real time, right here. Nice, now I know what you're thinking. Super easy. No, but it's actually really tough. So here's a modification if you get tired or you're still working on those regular burpees, and this is what we're gonna do. You get tired, we're gonna go with the step back. So you go hands down, step back, push up, step up, little hop at the top, back down. If you don't have a regular push up in the air, once you're here, go down to the knees, go all the way to the ground, push back up, 
Back on the toes, step in, little hop at the top. Nice, move number three, punch out jacks. Now this is just an active recovery exercise. It's a variation on a jump. Jack. So instead of a regular jumping jack where you're here, there's uh, about a month ago. Uh, huh? No. Oh man, this workout is looking killer. I don't know, I think we had a few sound difficulties, so uh, if you haven't been able to read my lips, um, just break it down for you. I'm showing the exercise. This was actually a boot camp workout that we did. This was a workout finisher we did together uh, at the boot camp uh, after we did our main circuit, um, but it's designed to be a quick, uh, quick workouts, four exercises back to back. I was just demo demonstrating them for you. It was a foot fire followed by a tuck jump burpee, and then we went into a punch out jack, and then we went back to the tuck jump burpee, and those are all done back to back 30 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna actually show you how it's done right here in this clip. Let's do it. Oh, okay, here we go on the in and out foot fire. This is real time, you guys, we're going in. I'm doing it with you. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook and you, and you wanna you know, save this workout for yourself, uh, each round takes two minutes total, and we're cranking it out right now with the in and out foot fire. 30 seconds, yeah, you can, you, can, you can go quick or you can just step it out if you're getting tired or if you're at a beginner fitness level. Whew, then we're going into the tuck jump burpees. Oh man, if you're doing burpees already, you know how uh, taxing those can be. Now we're just adding a little extra with the tuck jump. But if your knees bother you, don't jump. You're just gonna do a, like a little hop or bring your, just step, march your knees up when you come up and you can also step back. Ooh. Yeah, here we go, I'm showing you a little modification. Just step back, doing a full push up there. If you don't have it yet, don't do the push up and then just a light jump. Ooh, 30 seconds on those many as you can do. And we're taking it into the punch out jacks right here. I'm going kind of fast, right? So. Uh, if you've never done these before, it's just a jumping jack variation, throwing some punches, letting out some stress. It's just fun. And you know, that's what's so important with fitness. You've got to have a good time when you're wrapped up in that thing. This way you lose yourself, and then before you know it, workout's over. Right here, I'm slowing it down in case you're at an early fitness level. You can just get the movement in without uh, jumping around too much. And there it is. Guess what? One more time with those tuck jump burpees. 30 seconds, as many as you can do. Get up. Oh, not bad. Hey, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> I tell you, I'm huffing and puffing too, you guys. You gotta push that body. Oh, a couple more before we run out of time on that thing. Oh, a little different angle. Nice. Whew. Almost there. Oh, maybe one more. Bam, feeling the burn, feeling the burn. Woo! Ah, uh, yes, I do hope you like that one right there, you guys. Ah, fantastic. I know you're probably watching, sitting on your butt watching that thing, but guess what? Now you got yourself a workout that is totally approved from a body transformation expert Okay, and so that workout right there will get you some results. Uh, but I just showed you one round in that video. Um, so if you're gonna be doing this as your main workout, I want you to do four to six rounds. Okay, so each round will take you, it's two minutes of work. You take about a, uh, up to a minute after each round is completed. So you just keep doing back to back, just like I showed you. Take a little breather at the end of each round. Get back into it. Uh, four to six rounds later, that'll take you, about 15 minutes and you're done with that. Um, so really great, you can do that at home or even at the gym. If you're going to the gym and you're like, what should I do? Because you know a lot of people come in, when they come to our boot camp, they say, I belong to a gym, 
I don't really know what I'm doing when I go in there. I don't really get much done. Take that with you. That's us. We want to give that to you uh, as a gift. Uh, just appreciate you stopping by. So we always give you some fitness tips. We're going to move on to uh, talk about more nutrition with you now. We've touched on it. Um, but uh, let's talk to Jess here for a minute. Tell us, uh, you know, what kind of things that you're, you do eat or what you don't. I don't eat a lot of processed food, mostly because it all has gluten in it. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so yeah, because of the fact that you have a gluten sensitivity, yes, yeah. that just cuts out a lot of yeah. processed food. Yeah, so, so I love like fish. But you, and, you actually could eat I, it. You would just feel... I feel lousy and yeah. I get migraines. So you get migraines. It triggers migraines. Uh, so. Indigestion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? A lot of you at home have a sensitivity to gluten or even, you know, dairy. and. Every day, you don't realize that you eat these foods and you think, oh, I just, I don't know, my stomach's just always upset. It's probably a sensitivity to mm -hmm. some of the foods that you're eating. So we recommend an elimination diet where you start yeah. taking away some of these questionable foods for a week, uh, at least three days, and then you reintroduce one at a time and see how you, you react. Yeah, you that's, know? Exactly, so that's exactly That's how you kind of found, found out? Yeah, because I was very sick and it was, the gluten was the first thing we tried. And yeah. It changed my but life. But guess what? There's no gluten in ice cream. <laughs> well, I can't do ice cream with Oh, because of the dairy. Yeah, that yeah. Was, came later in life. Have you tried the, uh, yo uh, they have a new yogurt, because I'm, I'm, I don't do well with dairy. Yeah. I just get bloated. I don't yeah. get headaches or anything. I'm yeah. just really indigested. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but they have a, a yogurt uh, that's a coconut cultured yogurt. It's pretty cool. I've had, I've had it. Is it the so... I, I think it's by it's yeah called. something like that. They have it I've at tried Whole Foods. It before. Yeah, yeah. Look it's, for the unsweetened kind. Good. Was it all right? It, it was all right. I'm just used to now not even not having, having that in my diet. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, so you do cooking at the home with, uh, with the family? Yes. Who does the cooking? Um, I mostly do. My husband does. You know, when he's home. Ryan he pitches likes, in with that. No, okay, to, good. He loves to try it out. He's the grill man. So he's the grill man. Yes. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like to get on the grill too. Got to yeah. admit it. Yeah. Um, so and grilling great. Now, you guys, uh, this is about the time in the show where we're going to give you uh, some more food tips, specifically a recipe that you can follow that's super easy, simple, and actually good for you. It's approved by your trainer, this guy, all right? I would eat it, and you know what? I recommend that you eat it too. I've teamed up with uh, my friend Alicia who's really awesome, and we're gonna be in the kitchen. Check it out, let's cut to the clip. It's the recipe of the week. Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in. We got some healthy recipes coming your way. We're gonna keep them coming. I'm here with Alicia. Say hi, Alicia. Hey. Today, we're going through our series of replacing some of your starches at dinner, or lunch for that matter. And I challenge Alicia to come up with another healthy but tasty recipe. What do we got? We've got zucchini noodles with a sun-dried tomato pesto. So you're gonna get that feeling of a noodle, but it's all vegetable, and it's not even cooked. No cooking? No cooking. You put the sauce on that zucchini and let it hang out. It'll break it down and get nice and tender, and you don't even need to put it in a pan. Easy peasy. Woohoo! Since there's no cooking in this recipe, you guys, the magic is in the prep. Alicia's gonna show you exactly what to do. First, we trim the ends off of the zucchini, and then we're just gonna take our peeler and make those noodles. Hey, that doesn't look like the one I got at home. Yeah, I actually have a fancy one. This one will do a julienne setting or your regular old peeler. And if you use the regular peeler, it'll just make flat noodles instead of skinny ones. Aha. Uh -huh. Check out the noodles. Now you guys, these noodles do look pretty fancy, but if you want to go that little extra and purchase some of those spirulinis that are available on the market, you can get them at, where can they get them? I've seen them at Bed and Bath, but at a really good price, so. Bed and Bath, online, very easy to find. Okay, so those will give you some extra fancy noodles, but this actually worked out really well. I, I like the technique that you had there. Yeah, well, it's just a lot easier, you know? No specialty gadgets, really. Right. Are you guys ready for the sauce? Alicia's cooked up something special. The pesto sauce could not be easier. Basically, you put all the ingredients into a food processor and turn it on. 
We start with one cup of sun-dried tomatoes that we'll coarsely chop and then pop into the food processor. We'll do the same thing with half a cup of fresh basil leaves. One clove of garlic. The juice from half a lemon and three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, the good stuff. And then we'll season with salt and pepper to taste. Hey you guys, as we're filming this, it's summertime here in New England. What a beautiful time of year and a really great time for these herbs, especially this little guy right here, basil. This is actually from Alicia's backyard and man, Smells delicious, you did a great job with this. And um, it, as we said, it's easy to grow, tastes great, really good for you. Loaded with uh, antioxidants that are gonna protect your body uh, from free radicals, and so you get the health benefits, and a great way to just add some punch to your dishes without adding any additional calories. Once your sauce is made, put it on those noodles and mix it up. Oh, Alicia, this is looking good. Are we ready to eat? Hold your horses, Max. We gotta wait. This has to sit for at least 10 minutes so all the flavors really marry and it draws out the water in the zucchini so it really kind of gets that sauce everywhere. All right, you guys, I think it's time to eat. Alicia, what do you say? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it, cheers. Cheers. So good. Yeah, fresh basil. Love that with the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. You know, I think maybe a little hot pepper flake might be nice for me personally. All right, a little spicy. A little you can spice. add a little uh, Parmesan cheese grated. And you know, it really does have that that pasta feel that um, that, that you sometimes you're looking for, and totally guilt-free, you guys. The tomatoes, sure, there's a few calories in there, but you know what? Those are good calories. Zucchini. A lot of people don't know this. Zucchini is actually a net zero calorie. It's all fiber and water, so you can eat. How many zucchinis can you eat? You feel free to have as many as you want. Uh, this is fantastic, this dish right here. If you don't have sun-dried tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, regular Absolutely. tomatoes. Absolutely, regular tomatoes. I mean, whatever. The garden, it's oh. going to be ready, so go for it. Yeah. And we were talking about making this a complete meal. You can just add, you can make this a meat sauce, okay? Add, don't grind the meat up with it, okay? So, but cook some uh, ground turkey or ground beef on the side, and you can mix it in. You've got a complete meal there with some protein. Uh, so this will keep you lean and mean, keep you full, uh, and you get a full balanced meal out of it. So, Alicia, uh, listen, thanks so much. Aww. This is delicious, and I hope you guys like this recipe. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube or any of the social medias, give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out, lets us know that you like what we're doing. Um, so have a great rest of the day, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Woo, that looks and tastes yummy. Jess, what do you think of that recipe? I think it looks amazing. Those she has herbs. to say that. She's on my shelf. No, but so those fresh herbs <laughs> yeah. make it. Yeah, fresh herbs. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Fresh herbs, no calories, yep. tons of flavor, yep. and very high in antioxidants. Yep. So uh, it's great. Hey, I hope you guys like that one at home. Uh, we do these recipes because we want to show you that eating right doesn't have to be complicated. Okay, that was even a raw recipe. You don't even have to cook anything. Um, so it's really about all in the prep right there, just getting some high quality ingredients. Uh, so that I hope that's helpful for you guys. Go ahead and use that and try that. Even the family's going to like that. Um, so, and now uh, we're, we're coming, uh, we're running a little low on time on the show. We always like to save a little, a little time at the end for a segment that we uh, call Ask Max. And that's what we're gonna get into right now. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, it's about that time in the show. You guys are always happy to answer questions. Uh, you know, I get questions all the time about you know fitness and health and how do I do this or is this good? We get inundated with information, and you know they say a lot of stuff. Okay, so 
Uh, we're here to take some of these myths out and uh, I get a asked a lot of questions through our social media channels uh, all the time and you know our members come up and I love that because if you're asking questions that means you really care. Now uh, I'm going to actually turn the tables over to Jess and she's got I don't know what questions she's got how many questions you got for me I, I got a bunch okay but I'll choose one yeah we have time for maybe okay. one or yeah well, so what's going on it won't be too much information for all you people out there um I never used to be that sweaty when I worked out right and all of a sudden um, and it's not just the weather all of a sudden I am drenched ah. <laughs> um, and I was talking to Rachel about it my yeah. sister about it and yeah. do you know why that possibly is happening all of a sudden I do Please okay tell me enlighten me so um, so what Jess is saying here you guys she's sweating a lot okay and so uh, do you think it possibly has something to do with exertion yeah, and so I want to know, like, in the past, you're mm -hmm. saying you were not sweaty at all, like you were you were running a lot, a little bit, little sweaty, not yeah. like this, not okay. like this. So uh, it has to do with your exertion. I mean, you're pushing your body's limit, right. uh, not limit limits, yeah, and um, you're challenging the total body, mm -hmm. uh, and that heart rate is coming up different than if you were running. When your heart right. rate's up, you're at that controlled right. kind of even, right. steady mm -hmm. state. When we do our workouts. These circuits are designed to really get that heart rate up yeah. and down. So it has a lot to do with that. I do think it has to do with, we're filming this in the, in the summertime right now, you guys. So it, it also has uh, some things to do with the, just general temperatures are coming up. It's in, you know, can be in the 90s. Uh, so our, our boot camp facility is uh, indoor and outdoor. Uh, so I think the elements are playing a role mm -hmm. here. But the nervous system, it gets really stimulated from lifting weights or doing a mixture with the cardio. It's all in that kind of the, the way we, the, the combo, that okay. circuit training yep. uh, with the intensities. So um, the other cool thing is, I don't know if anyone at home is interested in this, boosting your metabolism. Yeah, that is pretty cool stuff. <laughs> So uh, that has to do with your, your metabolism is okay. boosted up when you're working out. And even when you're sitting down, it's still burning. Okay. So great job That's on that. Exciting. High five. <laughs> I know. You know what's really exciting is having you here and having you. you guys here on the show. Um, you know, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Really appreciate you coming out. If you ever do want to get a hold of us, reach out on any of our social medias on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, my personal email is up there, too, and we'll, we'll share the links down below. Um, but thank you for your time. Thank you for coming out and, and supporting the show. Um, anytime that we can help you out, we love doing it. So hope you found this uh, episode helpful. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great day.